I'll tell you, I'm impressed. That's the first time Big Daddy I've ever heard him say so many nice things about me, especially when we were racing 40 years ago. <laughs> In fact, just a little while ago, he told me, you know, your last name Ivo, I-V-O. Why, that's perfect. That stands for I'm very old. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you understand what I mean. But anyway, I'd like to thank all my sponsors, of course, that sponsored me all those years. And I'd especially like to thank my dear friend Shirley Muldowney for all the great times we had going down the road match racing each other. But tonight, just for my few minutes, I'd like to tell you exactly what it means to me to be in the Motorsports Hall of Fame. Early on, I found an Aladdin's lamp. And what do you do with that? You make three wishes. So for my first wish, I wished to be in the movies. And I got to ride with Roy Rogers and Gene Autry and swing through the trees on vines with Bamba the Jungle Boy. And I thought, wow, it just doesn't get any better than this. And then I found drag racing. You see, when I was in school, I used to weigh 115 pounds soaking wet. And when they picked teams for football, I'd stand on the picking line, and it would dwindle, and it would dwindle. And I'd stand there just staring holes into the ground and think to myself, please don't let me be picked last. So for my next wish, I wished that I could build those drag race cars and strap them on like a RoboCop outfit and go punch it out with the varsity guys. And I got to do just that and barnstormed the country from coast to coast for the next 30 years. And at that point, I decided it couldn't be any better than this and didn't even bother making my third wish. But tonight, well, tonight it looks like I'm getting my third wish without even asking for it. Just look at this awesome list of my peers that I'm going to be able to so proudly call my fellow Hall of Famers. And there's one particular one of those guys that really means something very special to me. Now listen to this. When I was five years old in Denver, Colorado, where I was born, my big brother and I, who passed away too early in life, used to pedal our little pedal cars up and down the sidewalk as fast as we could pedal them. And he would tell everybody that I was Barney Oldfield who just happens to be one of the original inductees into the Motorsports Hall of Fame of America. And tonight, 65 years and a lifetime later, I'm going to be in the Hall of Fame with Barney Oldfield. How's that? <laughs> There they are, ladies and gentlemen, seven legends and seven new members of the Motorsports Hall of Fame of America. Let's give them one more big round of applause.